Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, I'd like to introduce my PJ Scavenger Hunt 2021. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. Okay, so let me just open this because I think there's a glare on the cover. And so this is what this video is about, a PJ scavenger hunt for 2021. Now you might be wondering, pajamas? No, my friends, <laughs> it's planner or journal scavenger hunt 2021. I was watching a video earlier today by Danny Buttons. She's over in Color Tube. So if you follow the coloring book community, you probably are very well aware of her. And she was saying that she was going to do the fourth installment of her scavenger hunt. And what she does is she has like a list of prompts and then people look through their coloring books to see if they can find the, the item in question. And I thought that was pretty genius. I've seen some of the people who've done the scavenger hunts in the past and when she puts out the list, I'm definitely going to participate. But I thought, you know, wouldn't it be interesting if being from the planner journal world that I did something similar? And so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Now, just to test out the process, um, what I'm going to be showing you today is a tester of it. But the prompts that I'll be listing at the end of the video is what, if you're going to participate, I'd like you guys to look for. Now, you certainly can also do the tester page. Now, let's, let's make the rules very clear. It's anything that can go in a planner or journal is up for grabs. So that means stickers, stencils, stamps, washi, paper, anything. Anything that you would put in a planner, and not just happy planner, but any planner, any journal, any type of mixed media can count towards this. And it really is to look at the products that you might have on hand in a little bit of a different way. Now, where you put it, is up to you. I'm choosing a skinny classic. That is my preferred happy planner size. This is just a happy notes that I had. Uh, you can put it in a happy planner. You can put it in an old journal. You can put it in an old notebook, whatever. Sky's the limit. If you wanted to put it on your weekly spread and just have a little section dedicated to the, the scavenger hunt on a weekly basis, by all means, certainly do so. That's up to you. Now, if you do participate, I'd love if you tagged me on Instagram. Now, funnily enough, I don't really do social media other than YouTube. So more than likely, I'm not going to be posting to my own Instagram page, my own Facebook group. I'm pretty hands off when it comes to that kind of stuff. But if you do participate, I'd love to see it. So if you want to put it on Instagram, definitely tag me. If you are part of my Facebook group, you can definitely tag me in there. Again, the size, the style, that's all up to you. It really is just a way to look through your stuff and maybe discover some of your own treasures, especially if you are like me and you collect over time, you might forget some of the interesting and fun stickers or washi or papers that you've had that you collected in the beginning of your own journey. All right, so for this tester, the five things that I wanted to look for in my accumulated stash was bread, paperclip, yellow, person, and shiny. And that's all up to my interpretation. Now, the first two are pretty clear. The fourth one, pretty clear. Yellow could be anything yellow. You could just scribble in wherever you're doing your own scavenger hunt with a yellow marker. Shiny could be glitter. It could be something foiled. It could be glass. Glass is shiny. Whatever your interpretation is, that's up to you. But these are the five prompts that I chose for this tester route. And I chose the prompts before I looked <laughs> to see if I actually had anything with those prompts. And that's kind of the thing. So when I show you what I've come up with, um, it's really for me a avenue to do the scavenger hunt, collect all the items, put them all on one page, and then see how I did, and then just do a little bit of journaling. Again, how you interpret it, how you put it down, where you put it, that's all up to you. But let me show you what I've done. 
So uh, again, skinny classic happy notes. And so my bread is from this one right here, happy hostess. And again, bread could be any interpretation. So I just chose a loaf of bread. But if you have a sandwich, if you have bread pudding, if you've got a burger, <laughs> I mean, again, bread is a component. How, how you choose to interpret it, that's up to you. Now, I know I have paperclip stickers. In fact, I can think of right offhand three sticker books that I might be able to find that relatively easy. But I drew these in with my Papermate Flare. I just looked up a picture online because I wanted to show you that you can expand beyond stickers, especially if you're here from non-Happy Planner world, you might be used to doodling, or maybe you're just starting out in your planner or journal journey and you don't have a lot of accumulated things. As long as you've got a pen, you can play this. Uh, yellow is these various yellow flowers. Two of them, these two, I believe are from, no, here. And then this one is from here. And it has been a minute since I've looked at this sticker book. Person is that girl right there. And then shiny is this kind of lilac purpley foil around here. And so those are my five elements. Again, I just decided to do it as a collage. And then I did a little bit of journaling. Again, this was inspired by Danny Buttons. This is my tester to see how it would work. And then the actual first part of the scavenger hunt will begin as soon as I flip the page. Now, if you wanted to do this tester, awesome. The hashtag that's going to be out there, it's not going to change, is PJ Scavenger Hunt 2021. I'll have that on the screen. I'll have that on the description box and it'll be also the only hashtag of the video. And I would have done Planner Journal Scavenger Hunt 2021, but that's like, what, 20 something letters? No one has time for that. <laughs> so if you'd like to participate in the scavenger hunt and the way that I'm envisioning this, this video is going to go up Saturday, May 15th. And then on Saturday, May 22nd is when I'll show you my results for what I'm gonna show you in just a second. I hope that's all clear. I'll try to um, put some text in the description box just to clarify some things and certainly leave me a comment if you do have questions. This is open to anyone, by all means, please share. If you've got a YouTube channel, if you wanna do a video, sweet, tag me if you can. Instagram, Facebook, just, I'd, I'd like to see what you guys come up with. It just, it seems very fascinating to me. All right, so the prompts for the very first week of the scavenger hunt that I will be showing you guys on May 22nd, which is next week, Saturday, if you're watching this on Saturday, <laughs> is these five here. So what I'm going to be working on for the next video is somehow I need to incorporate a tree, a circle, word or words, as many or as little as you want, pen, or pens, again, as many or as little as you want, and a book. And the method that you incorporate that, where you incorporate it, what you use, again, that is all up to you. It is really about just admiring the things that you already have, or if you don't have many things, then coming up with ingenious ways to sort of put this on a page, whether you incorporate this on a blank page like I will be doing, or whether you put this in your planner or your journal, again, that is absolutely up to you. If you do have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to clarify anything. It is 1030 Monday evening, May 10th. So again, I'm going to edit and schedule this for Saturday the 15th, but I really have been thinking about this since I've seen Danny's video earlier today. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try it. Now I will do this for a few Saturdays, probably through May, and then we'll see how the response is. If this is something that you guys are interested in, where weekly I give you five prompts. Awesome then it's just, it's something really easy that can be done. And if you guys aren't interested, that's fine. It is just, to me, it, it just seems like a fascinating concept to be able to scavenger through your own things. All right, guys, well, that's it for me for now. And as always, Allah. <laughs>